feel like multiple classes, fat guys, great dialogue and music. It might be just for you. But what is it that's just for you? Rungor. If you don't know what Rungor is, it uh, just went to 1.0. Uh, it's a fantastic pixelated, but gets it's a pixel art. It's pixel art, what the fuck? And I will say, yes, if you scroll down, I did get this game from Keymailer, which theoretically means that I got this review copy for free. Does that mean that this video is moot? I don't think so. If you think so, comment in the comment section and then uh, go fuck yourself. So let's get started. One of the things I love about this game, spectacular visuals. The graphics, the style, uh, the animations, I love them all. The animations are incredibly smooth, which with pixel uh, art itself, it's kind of difficult to truly create smooth animations at the very least uh, to do it in a stylistic way that is extremely sort of uh, supportive of the type of uh, a uh, graphical fidelity, I'm gonna move on. It just looks really fucking good. I'm a huge fan of the color pad of the game. Um, it's a huge, bright and varied one. Um, for me, I'm like partly colorblind, AKA I'm color silly. I was gonna say, I can't say the R word anymore. Linus Tech Tips proved that to us. The art of the enemies is super duper enjoyable. I can't believe I said super duper. I really am a dad now. The actual monsters themselves are fantastic. Whether it's the bosses or whether it's the regular enemies, they're actually something that I really, really, really enjoy. And it's super hard to find a game that makes uh, auto battlers look uh, graphically impressive as they are most of the time sort of treated like idle games with simplistic graphics. But after actually talking to the artist because uh, they came to one of my streams and well, it went really well. We taught somebody about rule 34. The music in this game is awesome. And it's funny, I was sitting on stream talking about Minami Lane and talking about how Minami Lane had something I really love. And if you saw my Minami Lane video, I did talk about this, about how the game has really fantastic music. And one of the biggest things about a game having fantastic music is it has to be both situational and it has to be uh, fitting of the dynamic art and combat and story of the game. Minami Lane fit it perfectly. Perfectly. It was a very chill, relaxed, idle game. They had a few variety in tracks. But here's the thing, right? And there's a reason I'm talking about another game. Because I was talking about the tracks in this game feeling extremely well uh, butter smooth. Nice and palatable for the game. Not to mention a huge variety that allowed you to sort of be immersed in both the area and also uh, the menu system. And then I realized after going to download the music for this game so I could put it in the video that the uh, guy who made the music for Minami Lane is the same person who made the music for Rungor. So I love your music, man. If you see this, you're doing an awesome job. Keep it up. I'll leave a link below where, where you can download the music because I absolutely think you should. It's also on YouTube and Spotify, but go on to Bandcamp and support the music because it's fantastic. I think there's like 17 tracks and I highly recommend it. The dialogue prompts in this game is one of my favorite things, right? You'd think in an auto battle it would be about the fighting, all right? It'd be about the... <laughs> you'd think about the characters, okay? You'd think about being a hardcore, cool, fat guy who's just out here trying to get hard. It bit you in the ankle while you were thinking. It, in fact, was so healthy that the bike cleared some of the radiation out of it. Uh, but for me, the events is probably the highlight of the game. Like, yeah, getting past the parts is awesome. Yeah, uh, getting new cards is super sick. Getting new magic and, and heroes, awesome. The dialogue, f hard. Like there's a lot of things I enjoy about this game, but the prompts are fantastic and funny as hell. And there's a, a clear line that the developers and the people working on this game just had fun with it. There's a lot of fourth wall breaking, which is something that I love so much. I love when games uh, break the fourth wall, the developers decide to put their own flair in it and personalize it a little bit rather than trying to treat it as a particular game. Instead, they take their own kind of funny weird things or they kind of seem to like phone it in, but it adds all that much more personality to the game. So I went into the Discord right off rip. The Discord's like a hyper Russian. And as you can tell, I'm not. Uh, and B, instant uh, initial message is just telling people to not be assholes, which is like, 
I'm gonna fit in here great. Uh, I'd contact who I now found out as the artist and be like, hey bro, could I get the sweet little piece of this game and play it, please? They didn't reply, so I streamed <laughs> anyway. I don't even realize the artist came in here because I forget things like three minutes after I say them, much like when I checked and I, I contacted them and then I forgot their name, only for them to hang out for like an hour and a half and we taught somebody about Rule 34, so. I think this game's a hidden gem. Run Go has been out for a little bit before 1.0 and it seems to have a set in community 100%, but one of the big things that I have uh, always said about indie games is that they are underappreciated, and more so now than ever with AAA titles and, and, and developers and publishers who are just taking sloppy shits on each other. I think now more than ever we should be focusing on just just crushing it with indie titles. I think we should be focused on indie games, we should be focused on indie titles, and we should be sm focusing on small developers publishing sick games. Uh, and Run Gore for me is a hidden gem, all right? Trying to like, get to, trying to blow smoke up your ass unless you send me $10 and we can work something out. I can blow the smoke, you sucking it is, well, that's another thing. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for checking out the video. You're fantastic. Go purchase the game, go check out the album. You guys are fantastic. Uh, and an interview with the artist and one of the devs soon. We're getting back into game, indie game interviews. I look forward to that. I'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate you. And uh, don't actually ask me to blow smoke up your ass.